For all of modern history, the world's power has rested in the hands of the President of the United States. He had the greatest military on earth, he had the greatest diplomats at his disposal, and he had the greatest country resting beneath him. But that's all changed over the past few years. The power does not reside in the hands of the strongest person or the smartest person. The world's power, the power to control Earth itself, rests in the most cunning, conniving, and evil person in the world. Many people would say that that currently rests. Maybe it's Xi Jinping in China. But no, because he's kind of still likes capitalism and doesn't want to get into wars, maybe. Maybe it's Vladimir Putin in Russia. Well, he just wants to conquer countries, but he doesn't really want a global war. Okay, maybe it's um, North, Korea's North Korea's dictator Kim Jong-un. Yeah, may maybe. Mm, but he's more just bark and not really let a bite. Oh, how about... Ali Khamenei, the supreme leader in Tehran of the Islamic regime. He sounds like a truly evil person. Is he the one that controls the world? I have a secret to tell you. No. Everyone thinks it's him. Everyone thinks the United States bows down and kotows to the supreme leader of the Islamic regime in Iran. And that happens but that who's holding the actual keys to the gold? Yehye Sinwar. Yehye Sinwar is currently holding captive the lives of potentially hundreds of millions of people. The United States, Israel, Iran, Russia, China, North Korea, they've all gotten together collectively and said, we do not want global conflict. We will fight it if brought into a global conflict, but we don't want a global conflict. We don't want hundreds of millions of people dying in the 12 minute war. No one wants the 12 minute war to happen. We'd rather everything, you know, simmer just right under the surface. But there's one person who wants a global war. That's Yehi Sinwar the leader of Hamas. You see, right now, the Israelis have him completely surrounded to the block under where he is in a tunnel. Now, he's surrounded himself with hostages, so they can't hit him with an airstrike, but they are so close to him that he feels the breath of the Israeli soldiers everywhere he goes, and he keeps on running away from them. Now, at some point, He's gonna run out of supplies. There's rumors he had got cancer again. He doesn't have a lot of time. So what does he need? Does he need a ceasefire? No. He doesn't care about any Palestinians. He's sacrificed thousands of them for his agenda. So what does he want? He wants global war. Why would Yehi Sinwar, the leader of Hamas, want global war? because then everything would be pulled out of Gaza to fight this global war, to fight Lebanon, to fight Iran, to fight Syria, to fight Iraq, to fight all these different countries, Yemen. Then Hamas can regroup and he can say, as he's dying, or maybe he'll heal, whatever, he can say, look, I beat the Israelis they ran away from Gaza to fight some global war in which hundreds of millions of people are going to die. And now let's rebuild the army. Let's rebuild the terrorist group. And we will fight the Israelis once again once this 12-minute war is over and hundreds of millions of people have died. For some reason, this war that has been about to happen for weeks now apparently hinges on this ceasefire deal. The Israelis have said that a ceasefire deal will calm tensions. Hezbollah has said a ceasefire deal will calm tensions. 
Iran, Ali Khamenei has said, a ceasefire deal will calm tensions. United States, Qatar, everyone has said, a ceasefire deal will calm tensions. They don't mean that suddenly everyone become friends again. No. What they mean is, the 12 minute war will not be happening. We can push that off and discuss it at a later date, not today. So, who holds the key to hundreds of millions of lives in their hand? It's not the President of the United States. It's not the Zionist Israeli entity. It's not even the Malas in Iran. It's Yechus Sinwar. And right now he's saying, no, or yes, depends on the question. No, he won't accept any ceasefire deal. And yes, he wants this war to happen. But God is, uh, well, he doesn't really care about what the people think. So if God wants him to take the ceasefire deal, well, he will take the ceasefire deal. So we will find out very soon exactly what's going to take place. And as they say, uh, have lots of chocolate. I will also have lots of chocolate. Bye-bye.